Hey, it's Chris. The thing about sourdough bread is that you need a sourdough starter. Now, I have a sourdough starter here. It's about five months old. You can see this. It, uh, you can see the consistency. Maybe I just fed it this morning. The thing is about sourdough starters, you have to feed it pretty much every day or you put it into a refrigerator and you can keep it there for, I think, about a week. I've never really done that, but, um, but then, um, yeah, and then you can keep it. So, But I always feed it every day and um, <laughs> because I pretty much bake every day as well. So that's a lot of fun in itself. But um, the thing about the starter is you can make it from scratch and it is so easy, at least theoretically, <laughs> I had actually when I when I started this one I had a, I had some problems uh, to get it going but I'm gonna try it again I've never started another starter because this thing's just been going for five months now and it's really happy it smells great bakes great bread and um, yeah oh before I forget I have a some stuff some dough going here I mixed this up this morning I actually have to turn it so let me do that real quick you can see. And this one I added, those are black sesame seeds. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Anyway, so here's the turning again, just <laughs> for your viewing pleasure. Mm. Let's see how it's all pulley like that. Mm, yeah. Mm. Okay. So again, I do that every. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I do that every half hour for the first three hours. But that is the subject of another video. So to get a sourdough starter going, I get a bowl and add some flour. This is just regular unbleached, well, it doesn't really matter, bleached or unbleached, I guess, although I take unbleached, this Trader Joe's unbleached all-purpose flour I put in, oh, I don't know, one, two, three tablespoons of flour. I add water. This is reverse osmosis filtered water. Now the thing about water is, I don't know, I you have this here. There are people, you can go and read it on the internet, there are people who say, depending on the kind of water that you have, the chlorine and the amount of chlorine in your water or whatever else is in your water, it can be bad for the, um, the starter. Or, and and um, So I use this and I've only used this and it works great. So you also might, want, if you don't have a filter like that, you might want to use um, just bottled water and um, that might be, that might help. So anyway, I add some water. And I don't really know how much water. I think they say 50, 50 in weight, 50% to 50% in weight. But what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to mix this up until I get a consistency similar to my, to my other starter. Okay, and that's pretty much it. It's just flour and water. And I guess the way it works is in the flour and also in the air around us, there are all these little guys, they're, I guess, yeast and bacteria. And so these are mixed in here. And so you wanna also, that's another reason why you wanna mix it up because you wanna get it in contact with the air. Um, and these guys, they get in there and they start growing, doing their thing. And I guess they're good guys and they're bad guys and they fight for a while, maybe a couple days or a week. And um, if all goes as planned, the good guys win and then you get a starter. So that's, that's all I'm gonna do right now. And what I, the other thing I do, I noticed the first time I made a starter, I had it out here in the room at about 70 degrees and um, that somehow didn't seem to work very well. It got started, but then it seemed to die again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the oven. Put a plate on top or some kind of covering so it doesn't dry out. Turn on the light. My oven um, gets to about 80 degrees and 80 degrees seems to be the temperature that a starter likes. So I'll be back tomorrow and we'll take a look and see what it looks like tomorrow. All right, 24 hours about have passed. And if you take a look here, you can see there are a whole bunch of little bubbles coming up here. So if it's, uh, it does look like something's going on there. If I smell it, it um, just barely smells a little bit like there's something going on, but there's still not a real um, smell to it. Um, it still smells pretty, pretty much like nothing. But um, you can also see that there's some fluid here forming on the edges. And I think from what I've read and from my time when I did my first starter, that wasn't a problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, show you what the temperature is. And so it looks like it's not quite... Um, even 75 degrees. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It used to be around 80, but um, 
yeah, I guess it's at 75, but whatever the temperature, it sure does look like it's happy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take half of this and just dump it. Add some water. Add some flour. That is, I'm feeding it again. Well, again, for the first time, pretty much. And to get back and see if I can get back to the same consistency I had before, and also aerate it to continue getting air and hopefully bacteria and yeast, I guess, from the air in there. And that's it. So now I'm going to put the lid back on or put the plate back on it, put it back in the oven and wait another 24 hours. That was another 24 hours and let's see what it looks like. Well, it's a little frothy, mm, but it is starting to smell sour. All right, I'm going to dump half of it again. Wow, it's some a lot more fluid. There was a lot more liquidy than it was yesterday, it seems. Oh well, okay, so I'm going to add some more water. Add some flour to feed it. the lid back on and back in the oven. Hmm. Look how it's all bubbly and yeah. Hmm. And now it's really starting to smell sour. I think we're really getting somewhere. Now, um, you don't always have to dump it, uh, it's just that at some point you're going to have way too much. So, um, but here I, just, I don't have that much, so I'm just not going to dump any. I'm just going to add some water and some flour. Stir it up. And wait. I just happened to look at this and look how it's rising and how it's in the corners here, how it's all bulging up. And oh my gosh, look at that. Whoa. All right, well, let's take a look. Man, this is just amazing how this is working out. It's only day five and it's already rising like that. It smells delicious, a little bit sour, but that's it. I would almost say that this is good to go, but I'm definitely going to wait until the seventh day to, um, to bake with this. But one thing I realized, the light in my oven died about a day yesterday, two days ago. And so this thing has pretty much been sitting here, you see, at room temperature, which, yeah, it's about just under 70 degrees here. So I have the feeling it just doesn't matter. Maybe the first couple days, it's good to have it at 80 degrees, but then it doesn't seem to matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and feed this again. And I think you get the hang of what I'm doing here. So I don't have to come back and show you every day how I'm feeding this. So um, I think what I'll do is I'll come back um, in a couple days after I've gone through this um, yeah, a few times and then I'll try baking with it. So we'll see how that goes. All right, the starter is now 12 days old. You can take a look here. It's, I've been feeding it every day and it's been rising every day and it does have that, that sour smell to it. Although if I compare it to my older, my old starter, which is five or six months old, which is this, um, this definitely has a more sour note to it and it also has a more intense um, note to it. But they both rise, they both look happy and so I'm gonna bake two loaves one with the uh, new starter and one with the old starter. 
and then we'll, I can compare, we can compare and see what the difference is, what difference it makes, whether it's five months old or only a couple days old, 12 days old. So I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna put the um, old starter into the white bowl and the uh, new starter into the blue bowl so I know what's what, which is which. So um, same thing as always. Zeroed it, zeroed it out, and of course I'm not going to be doing the whole recipe, I'm only going to do half the recipe because, um, I mean, gosh, how much bread am I going to eat? So I'll have one half here, which will be one loaf, and another half here, which will be another loaf, and um, yeah, and then we'll see what happens. So what does the recipe call for? It's exactly half, so it's 111. hundred grams. Using, I've always been using a different, uh, different spoon here, so I don't mix these up. Hundred of this. Come on. All right, 100. I'll go ahead and feed them right away because you have to feed your starter. Water, flour, all right, calls for 375 grams of water. Zeroed out, 375. Same thing here. 375. 10 grams of salt. As I said before, I usually put in 12 or 13 because I like it a little, a little um, saltier. Mix them both up. Okay, and it's the same recipe as always. Of course, half, 50 grams of whole. Four hundred and fifty regular. Okay. And mix it all up. All right, plop it in a bag so it doesn't dry out. And I'm not going to um, go through the minutia of um, turning it every half hour for the first three hours. And um, so I'll come back is it probably tomorrow after I've um, after it's risen in the refrigerator and everything, and then I'll bake the two loaves tomorrow. We'll see what happens. All right, here they are. One, two. <clears throat> Can you tell the difference? What do you think? Which one is which? Well, this is the new starter, and this is the old starter. And I would say this one looks a lot plumper. This one, well, just look at the shape. I don't know if that's important. I mean, the scores where the scores were, it's nice and pronounced here, but here over here, I think it's, it's more pronounced, but I don't know. Who cares about that? Well, so I'm gonna cut open the new starter. Mm-hmm. Okay. The old starter. Oh yeah. <laughs> Take a look. Okay, I think that 
shows the difference. Not like I want to prove that the old starter is better than the new starter. I love the new starter, but just check it out. It does look better, the, new st the old starter over here. All right, so now let me do the taste test. All right, here goes, here's the new starter, the bread with the new starter. Mm. 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 <laughs> I probably should have something to cleanse my palate. Oh, well, but here's the old starter. Mm. 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 Oh wow. Okay. Mm. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> you can't taste it, but this is better. But and hey look, this is twelve days old and is breaking some pretty awesome bread. But if you have the patience, the time to wait five months, then you get this, and this is this is good. Mm. Mm.